She is known for being an American author of fantasy, historical fantasy, science fiction, and science fantasy novels. Recognized for her feminist perspective in writing, she is best known for the Arthurian fiction novel The Mists of Avalon and the Darkover series. Her name is Marion Eleanor Zimmer Bradley. In the world of fantasy literature, one name stands out, Marion Zimmer Bradley, an American author whose works captivated readers with their blend of fantasy, historical fiction, and science fiction. Her most famous novel, The Mists of Avalon, brought the Arthurian legend to life from a feminist perspective, while the Darkover series transported readers to a richly imagined world. Bradley's talent for storytelling and her unique perspective made her a beloved figure in the literary community. From a young age, Bradley displayed a passion for writing, beginning her literary journey at the age of 17. She honed her craft and eventually earned a Bachelor of Arts degree from Hardin-Simmons University. Her creativity extended beyond writing, as she co-founded the Society for Creative Anachronism in 1966, bringing together enthusiasts of medieval history and culture. Bradley's impact on the genre extended beyond her own works. As the editor of the Sword and Sorceress Anthology series, she provided a platform for aspiring authors to showcase their talents. Her dedication and support for the genre earned her recognition and respect within the literary community. In 2000, she was posthumously awarded the prestigious World Fantasy Award for her lifetime achievement. Unfortunately, Bradley's legacy has been overshadowed by controversy. In 2014, her daughter Moira came forward with accusations of sexual abuse against her mother. It was revealed that Bradley was aware of her second husband Walter H. Green's criminal activities involving child molestation. These shocking revelations tarnished her reputation and led to public condemnation from several science fiction authors. Marion Zimmer Bradley's life and work serve as a reminder of the complex nature of individuals and their legacies. While her contributions to the world of literature should not be disregarded, it is important to acknowledge the harm that was done. Her books continue to be read and appreciated, but her story also serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of separating the art from the artist. In 2014, Marion's daughter, Moira Grayland, bravely came forward with shocking allegations of sexual abuse against her mother. According to Grayland, the abuse started when she was just three years old and continued until she was 12. In an email to The Guardian, Grayland explained that she had remained silent for so long because she was afraid of the backlash from her mother's fans, who saw Marion as a champion of women's rights. She didn't want to hurt anyone who had been helped by her mother, so she kept her pain hidden. Grayland also revealed that she was not the only victim in this tragic story. She was one of the individuals who reported her father, Walter H. Breen, for child molestation, which resulted in his multiple convictions. Shockingly, Grayland stated that Marion was aware of her husband's behavior but chose not to report him. In 2017, Grayland published a detailed biography of her mother called The Last Closet, The Dark Side of Avalon, in which she exposed Marion's pedophilia and sexual abuse. Grayland further claimed that Marion aided Breen in accessing and abusing other young boys, despite knowing he was a pedophile. Marion and her live-in female partner allegedly admitted to knowing about the abuse but deliberately avoided investigating or reporting it to the authorities. There were even allegations that Marion tried to adopt a child whom Breen was interested in sexually. The revelations of these horrific allegations led to swift condemnation and action from the science fiction community. Victor Gollink's LTD, Marion's publisher, decided to donate all income from the sales of her ebooks to the charity Save the Children. Other authors, such as Janie Lee Simner and Larry Hammer, redirected their earnings to anti-sexual assault organizations. Numerous science fiction authors, including John Scalzi and Jim C. Hines, expressed their shock and horror at the allegations, as Marion's positive impact on her readers made the revelations even more tragic. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.